Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Uh, last video I posted, it was on electric guitar setup and string change. Today we're going to attempt to do a string change and setup on an acoustic guitar. And we'll see how that goes. Thank you, hope you enjoy. Hey there, rock and roller. Hey, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to change the strings and try to adjust the bridge and the truss rod on this acoustic guitar of mine. I have one acoustic guitar, this thing. I bought it for 80 bucks used. It is an Ashbury model AG100. Not the best quality guitar, but it sounds good, but it doesn't play very well. Down here, in the first three or four frets, it plays fine, but up in the five, seven, to press. So let's try to make this thing play better than it should. So here we go. We're going to adjust, adjust, and adjust. First thing to do, for me anyway, is I'm going to tackle adjusting the, the bridge, the saddle here. So that means I have to take it out. So how do you take it out? Well, on acoustic, you gotta... After we do all our adjustments and then I'm going to put new strings on it but I'm not going to put new strings on it right now not until I get this thing playing reasonably well we'll see why here's why I want to do my adjustments first let's pull the pegs see I got two different colors of pegs black ones and white ones on here so maybe I'll do something cool and stagger the colors every other peg give them a wiggle that one just broke so now I'm gonna have to replace that peg too cool I know I got new pegs somewhere I can replace those are so brittle okay let's see if I can get the strings off These guys down here, these guys down there. So you get to E. Can you get the E out? And get that guy out. Alright, and now I gotta go. Can I pull this out? I can. Oh, look at that. That's interesting. There's some stuff under there like spacers there's a spacer under there and another spacer and another spacer this could be the problem here. maybe somebody put spacers under here instead of actually filing the bridge or doing anything so that that may have gained me exactly what I needed. So I gotta go find me a tuning or a, a peg and return to this old thing. All right, I went to my stash and got my another spare, one of my tuning, or my tuning pegs, one of my pegs. Let's see if we can get this one here to work out. <laughs> That's two. I've never broken one in my life. Now there's two on this one guitar. All right, those three are in. Let's get to the D string. This is going to be cool. If I don't have to sand, if I don't have to sand it down because of those extra spacers that were under there. You never know what you're going to get on a used guitar. That that is cool. Maybe it'll play better now. Maybe it'll play worse. I don't know. Maybe the spacers are there for a reason. Who knows? Yeah. Right, look at that. I got white back, white back, white back. Very nice. I haven't pushed them in all the way just yet. Let's uh. All right. Let's get a tuner on this fellow. See if this doesn't play better right now. Please. 
much, much better. I think we can do better. I could probably bring it down a smidge more for a little bit of sanding on that. For a little bit of sanding on that bridge. Let's give it a try. Let's try sanding down that bridge. So back to the drawing board again. Acoustics, you gotta unwind them to get things out. Well, let's hope we don't break any more on the way out. That guy was successful. Let's pull the strings. And let's take you out. And just lay the guitar down here for a sec. So that is what I'm going to have to do. I'm going to have to sand this fella. I'm going to sand it down. I'm going to take a pencil. And I'm just going to, wonder if you can catch that at all, make a line about a sixteenth of an inch up. About a sixteenth of an inch, I wonder if you can catch that on the camera. Got me a sanding sponge. I'm just going to go back and forth. Okay, my line is almost gone. A little bit more on this on there here. All right, my pencil line is gone. Put the guitar back together. Plop you back in. I dropped it right into the hole. Well, luckily, there's no strings on, so I'll reach in there and get it. There's indents. If you're wondering how I know which way to put the the bridge back together. There's indents here where the strings go in. The fatter ones obviously to the top and the really thin ones down at the bottom. So that's how I remember how I'm doing that. So let's see if we can't get this panel back together. Let's get the string wind around here. Let's see if we have improved it a little bit. We can do better. What do you think? Should we try again? Let's sand it down a little bit more. That's why acoustics are way different than electrics because electrics adjusting the bridge height, it's just a matter of adjusting some set screws. Or acoustic, well, it's taking the guitar apart and filing. So the same scenario, I'm going to make me a, a line, roughly a sixteenth of an inch, like so, and back to the sanding sponge, and away we go. Okay, pencil mark's gone, let's return it to the guitar. And see if we haven't lowered it a little bit more. Okay, remember fat strings up, skinny strings down. Nice. 
see where the buzzing is on the frets. If I've gone too far, I'll hear this nasty kind of buzz sound. It plays better. It's much lower. The neck, I don't know if I can catch that on the camera, is still bowed out this way a bit. If I touch the tension rod, the, the truss rod, perhaps I can bring the neck up and my playing area for me is between the first and 12th fret. So I don't really care what happens down here. I don't do a whole lot of action down there on acoustic. I care between 12 and 1 or 12 and a nut. So if I was to bow that up a bit, I think I might have something here. All right, next step is going to be uh, taking the old strings off, cleaning the guitar up, cleaning the fretboard, putting new strings on, adjusting the truss rod. Let's give that a go. All right, the easiest way to do it, I guess, would be to cut them. <laughs> Okay, now let's clean up the fretboard. You can see it's all kind of gross looking. I can definitely see the lines. Can I catch that on the camera? See the lines across here where the strings are? The frets are not pitted in any way, but you can definitely see that this is dry, dry, dry. So let's get some daily wood cleaner on there and see if we can bring it back to life a little bit. Just a whole lot of it right off the hop here. Just let it soak in there. Just kind of rub it back and forth. Let that wood soak in the, the cleaner. I'm not getting a lot of dirt off the neck and that's kind of nice. Let's get a little bit more on here. Nice. Doesn't that look better? Much better. Now, same as before, I'm just going to see if I can't get any. I'll take a pick on the side of each fret. On the side of each fret, I'll take a pick and I will see if there's any gook. Any debris that I could get out of there. It's built up over the years. I'm going to go over the neck one more time with the uh, wood cleaner. I'm going to go over the whole body with just a general cleaning, which I'm going to do right now first. Everywhere where I can't get at because the strings are on, I'm just going to give this thing a cleaning. And then we're going to go back to installing the strings and adjusting the truss rod. Okay, I think we're ready for some new strings. So just like electric guitar, I like light gauge strings. So I got some Diodero uh, 10 gauge, 10 to 47 uh, strings I'm gonna put on right now. Alrighty, so what I do is take a string, drop it down. I'm gonna take a peg and bring it up to the peg. Now let's put the A string like so. So let's put the the D and G into their slots. And we'll start with the black pegs. Strings. Cool. All right. So now we got two strings left. And two more strings down the hole they go. Take a peg, drop them in there, and one more peg or the E string. Drop them in there. Let me just show you a peg. Peg have a, a slot, and I put the slot facing towards the string, so the string goes up the hole of the slot. So there we go. So that's how I install the strings. So now I start at the top, and I work my way down. So my E string, I'm going to 
pop them into this hole right here. If I can just do that. Really, let's see, about an inch and a half of space between the fretboard and the string. Let's see if that doesn't give me at least two or so good winds on the tuning peg. Holding the string tight to the tuning peg. Oh yeah, it gives me two winds. Okay, that's a good height. There. You hear that? The peg is coming up. Make sure your pegs don't come up. I'm actually going to tune as I go a little bit. So I'm in the ballpark. That's good. Got two lines on there. Lovely. All right, let's get the A on now. A right here. Put you in. Same procedure. Uh, inch and a half or so up from the fretboard. We'll lock you in there. And string lighter, there we go. Making sure that every wind goes underneath the previous wind. Now we got two winds on there, that's good. You can see that's coming up. Push you back down. Tune as we go. And it's an F, G sharp, A, and we'll try our D, our E again. Around there. Okay. Good. This is going to go super smooth now, right? What could go wrong? What else could go wrong? Broke two pegs already. Let's get. I lined the hole this way. So that my string goes in and it kind of locks. And maybe I should go back a little further of my angle. You know, something like that. That's about a good height right there. Okay, let's lock you in. And start winding. Making sure we're going below the previous wind at the time. Make sure it goes. didn't come up so that was good let's get into tune roughly around there we're tuning at 440 of course get the a back to a get the e back to e okay cool now it's gonna get a little awkward for me because i'm facing the wrong direction so I'm gonna be winding over top of that but for instructional sake let's see if we can't do it now that we got our strings on I can clip off the one of them popped. Yeah. I can clip off the excess. I hate these things rattling around. Done. Okay, let's tune this thing up and then we'll adjust the truss rod and this guitar should play better than it has ever played before. Right? All right, let's adjust the neck now with an Allen key. Where the truss rod, you say? Right in here. So I'm going to tighten the truss rod probably a quarter turn at a time. You don't want to go any further than that. And I don't know if I can catch that on the camera, but the neck is, I'll exaggerate, bowed in like so. So I'm going to tighten the truss rod and that's going to bring the neck up, which would decrease the space between the string and the neck. So let's give it a try. Oh, that's loose. Give it a little crack like that and a little bit more straight up okay let's give that a try i wonder did that do anything to our tuning i got the tuner in front of me i don't know if you could see it on the camera but it's a little bit high now 
No, well, it's all right. Still need to stretch out the strings a bit more. Well, a lot more actually. But... Look down the neck. It's still bowed a little bit. Let's check for uh, fret rattle. So good. Let's give it another quarter turn. I know we were straight up. I'm gonna grab it right here. And then we're gonna go up again. Alright, let's get her back in tune. <laughs> Check for some fret buzz. This plays really good. It plays so much easier. Let's try another notch. Why not? I am so far quite impressed. I'm going to see if I can't push it over a little bit more that way. How out of whack was this thing? No wonder it played poorly. Back in tune. So let's see. There's at some point I'm going to have to go too far, right? Of, I think a hint of a buzz there. Maybe my imagination. That is all I'm going to do today. Wow, I am very happy with how that turned out. After several adjustments of the truss rod, uh, it plays almost effortless. Well, it's not an electric guitar. Is it? plays good. 
thank you for watching. I appreciate that. If you have any questions, leave me a comment. If you have any concerns, leave me a comment. If I did anything wrong, let me know about it. Anyway, this thing plays like a million bucks now. I'm quite happy with that. Thank you for watching. Have a great day. Hey there, rock and roller.